It's freezing out. Check that out. Well, it actually warmed up a little. It's zero now, but the wind is blowing. It's cold. Listen, if your vehicle, vehicle won't start or isn't starting, listen up. This is important. One thing I've noticed, if you have an older vehicle, a bad battery, take your battery out. Take it inside. I'm telling you, it works. Take your battery, take it inside, and unfortunately, plug it in again every time you gotta start your vehicle. I am telling you right now, a lot of people save a lot of money, a lot of headaches, right? Um, and, and look, it's up to you how you wanna uh, live your life, and, and, and but as a mechanic, I can tell you that taking your battery, you may have a bad battery, get a new battery. All right, get a right battery, okay? The biggest problem with vehicles not starting when it's this cold, now this ain't even cold. We had 10 below a day ago, plus the wind chill, 30 below, okay? So I am telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Do not waste your time. Do not waste your time buying expensive chargers and car starters kits and, and, and all that. Take your battery out. Clean the battery connections, right? That's a big issue too. If you have an older vehicle, you gotta remember that your car uses more than just the battery to start, okay? It's the starter, it's other equipment, power sources that help boost power to, to start your vehicle, right? You need that initial power, that kick, and so it doesn't just come from your battery. Other components help in starting your vehicle, but the battery, is the main issue with cars not starting. Now, if you have an older car, I, I, that's all I'm saying. Open your hood, clean the connections, and take your battery out. Be careful, put it inside where it's warm, or you can even cover the battery in some warm, all right, to keep it warm. But the best thing is to take it out if you have an older vehicle. Now, if you have a brand new vehicle and you're having issues and it's not starting, you have huge problems, okay? You've got to take that vehicle in, okay? It's not the battery. If you have a new vehicle, it's not starting, it's not the battery. The great thing about these Toyotas though, man, what the heck? What the hell? I got 150,000 miles on this thing and it runs like it's new. Man, the people making these vehicles, there's something wrong with them, dude. They something different. I mean, I put 100,000 miles on this thing in one year and no, no issues. How comes? I had Fords. I had Hondas. I had every kind of car you can think of. And I am telling you right now, every year it's something. It's something breaking. You buy a Toyota and they just run. They run, no matter cold, hot, they run. Uh, but anyway, your battery issue, yeah, uh, yeah. Remember, clean fuel, you may put some starter fluid, cleaning fluid in your gas tank, right? It helps, good fuel helps. The connection, like I said, connections help, but the new battery helps. The best that you can do is get a new battery but if you have an old vehicle, you may want to just take the battery in. Keep it inside your house. 